Hey guys, Hillary here from Old World Home. I wanted to share with you guys in a video the gifts that we bought for our three children for this Christmas season. I'm gonna share with you their main gifts as well as stocking stuffers. I love doing stocking stuffers and I feel like it's a really fun way to kind of Kids love opening presents, so I love giving them lots of little things to open as well as just a couple bigger ticket items um, to really make the Christmas season special. In case you don't know, we do have three children. We have two girls, five and a half and two and a half, and then we have a newborn baby boy. So he's really not going to get very much. I'm actually going to start uh, with him and share with you just a couple things we're going to throw in his stocking. I wasn't going to buy him anything this year, honestly, because he is a couple weeks old and he doesn't know the difference, but uh, we were at TJ Maxx or Marshalls and I saw a couple of little baby toys that so thought I would pick one up for him. This is um, a zebra, so it's black and white, which is really great for babies. Um, and it's just one of those things that can wrap around the stroller handle. I thought that was something that he'll, you know, enjoy looking at since we are on the go a lot. Um, and then I also grabbed this one. It's a little textured pal, they call it. And the body, it's like a little goldfish, and the body is actually silicone, so it kind of feels and looks like a real fish. So I thought that was really cute. A lot of our baby toys are kind of girly, so I thought, you know, why not just get him a couple new fun things um, this Christmas. Now for my girls' main gifts, um, they have a dollhouse already, and I already shared in a previous video how I'm going to be decorating their dollhouse for Christmas and have it just be on display for them to wake up to Christmas morning. So I am gonna share hopefully the reveal of the dollhouse um, in a separate video as we get closer to Christmas or maybe right after Christmas. But the reason I'm focusing so much on the dollhouse is because the girls are gonna be getting some calico critters to go in their dollhouse. Yes, I know that calico critters makes dollhouses and um, you know bigger structures, but we already had a dollhouse that is big enough to fit these in. So I was really excited to buy these for them. I saw calico critters for the first time in a specialty toy store, I think last year. I had never heard of them before. And Lara was still little and I was like, I don't know if she really will be able to like appreciate them. But I feel like this year definitely they're both at the perfect age to be playing with these little toys. And they're just the most precious thing. So Lara is getting the bunny family, which is the mom and the dad, and two little bunnies. It's called the Sweet Pea Rabbit Family. And then she's also getting the Hopscotch Rabbit Twin. So it's two little babies that go with that rabbit set. And then for the house, she got the deluxe nursery set. So it has like a crib and a changing table and so many like little tiny um, baby toys. And I just think she's gonna love this. And of course the girls can share these, but I do plan to wrap this up and give it to, you know, say that it's for Lara. And then Evie is going to be getting the hazelnut chipmunk family. This is just adorable. And again, it's a mom and a dad and two little kids. And then to go in the house, I gave her, or I got for her the deluxe kitchen set. So this has, you know, a sink and a little cabinet, a little hutch, a stove, all the little like food things. And I think she's absolutely gonna love this. Two other things the girls are getting are some books. They actually haven't come in yet from Amazon. We have a book that's called Cookies, and I think it's called Life Lessons. Um, and it's a really sweet book, and it talks about all different life, life lessons through the lens of like cookies and making cookies and how to behave and how to be appreciative and having courage and being modest, like all the kinds of different themes in the book. And I saw through Amazon that there is a version for Christmas. So it's called Christmas Cookies. So I'm gonna give one of those to the girls probably to Lara because then we got a second book that's cookies for school-aged kids. So I'm gonna give that one to Evie. So they are getting those two new books. We may wind up still getting a couple other books, but those are the only two that I've purchased so far. They're definitely gonna be getting those under the tree. And then another gift that Evie's gonna be getting, this is just sort of something that um, 
you know, I didn't have to actually buy, but I am still gonna wrap it up and make it special for her for Christmas. So I mentioned this before in a video that Evie has a doll that's like a our generation or one of those kinds of dolls. I can't remember the brand exactly. And um, she's only had one outfit for it the whole time that she's had it. She got it for her birthday in May. So my sister had a ton of extra clothes from um, her daughter who's much older and isn't really playing with her doll anymore. She said, I can give you all of her doll clothes. So this is a whole bag of doll clothes that I'm going to wash up and wrap beautifully and I think Evie will really enjoy having so many more options to dress her doll. Now Lara doesn't have one of these dolls and I was debating whether or not to get her one for Christmas so that they both will have a doll. Um, to play with but I think what I'm gonna do is just wait it out and see how she does um, She hasn't shown a ton of interest in Evie's that she has but maybe when Evie starts playing with hers more Lara will want one But Lara's birthday is in March So I kind of want to just wait it out and see how much interest she shows in it And if she really does seem to want one then maybe that will be a good birthday present for her in March and sorry if my son lighting is going in and out. It's kind of a cloudy day and we're just gonna go with it. So moving on to um, stocking stuffers. I have two gift bags here that I have been filling slowly with items for each girl. So one of the first things, this may actually go under the tree. I don't know if it's gonna fit in their stocking, but it's this really beautiful mug and the girls love to have hot chocolate and they even drink tea sometimes. And when I saw these at Marshall's, it's the Nutcracker um, characters and on the inside it says Merry Christmas. I thought this was so adorable. It's like the perfect size for them. And again, I've mentioned this a few times, Evie is going to see the Nutcracker Ballet for the first time this year. So I thought this would be a really sweet way to like remember that um, you know, event, but then I also did get one for Lara as well. She is not going to the ballet. She's only two and a half. Don't really think she'd be able to make it through the whole program and it'll be something special that just Evie and I do with my mom, with her grandmother. Um, but I thought this mug was really sweet. This was only $4.99 from Marshalls. I really love these uh, Magic Ink coloring books because they are mess free and it's sort of like a consumable gift. So once all the pages are colored, they're done with it. It doesn't really become clutter in our house because it only has a lifespan and once it's all used up then it's kind of done. So Lara is getting the Paw Patrol one and Evie is getting this one from Melissa and Doug that's a secret decoder and I've mentioned that we've been listening to Nancy Drew stories in the car and now we're listening to Hardy Boys and there's a couple stories where they talk about using codes and decoding you know like cracking codes so I think she's gonna love this. There's like a little decoder at the top where you have to like find out what symbol goes to which letter and it's like you know magic ink I think she's gonna love this. The girls are both getting a little pack of Silly Putty because it's a classic favorite and again once it's used up and it gets really dirty and starts to get gross then it's just it's trash and it's life has been lived um, and it doesn't have to stick around forever. I did also get them this little clay kit. It's just some modeling clay and um, some little like uh, forms to cut them out. This was from uh, World Market. Evie came home with some of these what are they called? Squeesh Yum? Jiggly Pals? I don't even know. She came home with one from school. I think she got it in like their treasure box and it they just get gross and again they only have a limited lifespan and they're done. So I saw these at um, World Market also so I decided to pick those up and it's perfect timing because her old one that she got is now all like gross and she had to get rid of it. It started to break so she's kept saying, oh, I want new ones. And I said, oh, let's just wait and see what, you know, what you get for Christmas. So she doesn't know that she's getting it, but I thought that was a nice little uh, coincidence that I had already bought it for her. Evie bought a bath bomb a little while ago. It was like over the summer, I think, and she really loved it and she loved like seeing it, you know, fizz in the bath and all that, and we hadn't done any since. So she, every time we go to a store, she asks about bath bombs. So I saw these at World Market. I, I just loved the packaging. It's like little, it's like a little candy, but inside are some individual little bath fizzies. So this one is for Lara, and then Evie has, this is the one for Evie. It's a little bit different. It's a different scent. This is cranberry vanilla, and Lara's is red fruits. It's like a little bit fruity. 
But again, something consumable that gets used and then it's done. The girls are also both getting new toothbrushes. I feel like it's the perfect stocking stuffer. It's something practical that they need that they could use. They like the ones that have like the um, suction cup on the bottom so they can stick them to the vanity. And these came with some flossers, a two pack for each girl. And then the girls are both getting a couple um, art supply things. So Lara is getting these twistable colored pencils by Crayola and two of them are scented. And Evie is getting these erasable uh, colored pencils. She actually uses colored, pencil, colored pencils for her homework at school all the time. Um, but the ones that we have aren't erasable and she always tries to erase it and it only lightens it a little bit. So I thought these would be perfect for her. And lastly, what is a stocking without some treats? So I got the girls Pop Rocks. They have never had these before. And these are candy cane flavored. Again, I found them at World Market. I'm very curious to see how Lara um, enjoys this. That'll be a fun little experiment. And then I got them these little Hello Kitty. They're like biscuits that are in a stick with chocolate on them. Got them a Kinder Joy egg because Evie sees these at like every checkout lane and every store and she always asks for it and I always say no. And these have like a little Disney princess inside of them. And lastly, some M&M minis, which again is something they see in like the checkout lane and they always ask for it. But I cannot forget to mention these treats that are gonna be going into their stockings. I'll portion them out. But these were from World Market and these are the cutest little Santas I have ever seen. Like I wouldn't even wanna open it because they're so sweet and adorable. They're just hollow chocolates um, and there's like a good amount of them in there. I mean, I hope that the chocolate is good but just the packaging alone totally got me and these are gonna be so cute in their stocking. So the only last thing, um, this was also from World Market that I'm gonna be sticking in Evie's stocking or maybe it'll go under the tree because I don't know if this packaging will fit in her stocking, but it's a zero gravity fridge rover. So it's a little um, rover car that you wind up and apparently it can climb vertically. So I think that she is really gonna like that. Um, now that I have just the one, I'm wondering if I should have got another one for Lara, but I think I will wind up picking up just one other kind of special thing for Lara that's not very expensive, um, just to kind of counterbalance this one so they both kind of have the same amount. Just like a little, you know, fun toy for her, for her stocking or under the tree. And that is it, you guys. We are keeping things really simple. Now, I say I'm done with them, but I feel like my husband always comes in and swoops in at the end and winds up buying things uh, for them himself. I don't know if he's definitely gonna do that this year, but that seems to be his track record. So we'll see if they wind up getting a couple other things under the tree as well. And then they will be getting gifts from grandparents and possibly some other gifts as well along the way. So they are lucky kids, they have everything that they could possibly need. Um, and like I've mentioned before, Evie's getting some new Christmas outfits that she'll probably use before Christmas. And um, you know, they get other special things along the way throughout the month. So under the tree may be a little bit light, but I think that they will really enjoy the gifts that we bought for them this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel and this is your first time watching, please click up there and subscribe and stick around. I am doing Vlogmas, so you'll be seeing a lot of me this month. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.